welcome back to the channel and I hope you are doing absolutely well this is Eddie back with another video so today is gonna be the review of the Revengers official based on Android 10 for Redmi Note 5 Pro so without any further ado let's now get started So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Revengers official. Let me first show the about device section before talking about anything else. So going into the about phone and the Android version. As you can see, Android version is obviously Android 10. Let us from Google. Talking about other stuff, as you can see, the security patch is of 5th of February 2020. That's because this is the 4th of March build. And after 5th of March, whatever build will come, it will be synced with the 5th of March 2020 security patch. For now, it's of 5th of February itself and this is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. As you can see the kernel here, it says 4.4.212 pixel. That's because as per the change log, the kernel is borrowed from the pixel experience room. And here it is, as you can see. So talking about other things, Revengers version, it says 3.1 and the build type is official. Going back and talking about other stuff, as you can see, the settings menu is well themed over here. Looks really nice. The colored icons going into the digital well-being it works absolutely well over here as you can see it's showing properly all the usage talking about other stuff like the display option here are a couple of things like the dark mode here it is so it will turn all the supported applications into black as well so for me the white one looks better so i'll go with that adaptive brightness also works fine live display like the reading mode etc which turns everything into grayscale and works absolutely well again Display mode is also there, you can put it tonight if you want to, but I'll keep it off. So going into other stuff like the customizations, these are what you get over here, the customization options which you can see over here. There are no any dedicated customization options in this room, as you can see, nowhere. So going into display, here are a couple of things like the status bar customization, it says icon customization, network traffic monitor which is enabled, and also the full screen apps, as you can see over here for YouTube, etc. So going into the traffic monitor, hide arrows and let me see. Actually, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi right now, as you can see, but I just cannot see anything over here. Let's just try YouTube and see whether it shows. Nope. As you can see. Now it's working. Here it is. So this is a type of network traffic monitor where Whenever you use an application which consumes internet, then alone it shows the traffic monitor. Whereas the Havoc OS is not like that. Even if you don't use anything, even if you are on the lock screen, it will show 0 kbps, but it will show something over there. But still, it's working well over here. No any issues with that. And talking about other stuff, lock screen customizations were there. Let me show you that really quick. Lock screen display, as you can see. So in a nutshell, there are no any advanced customization options what we see in other rooms. That's a kind of drawback of this room, I can say, because most of the people use customizations if they install custom rooms. Talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working absolutely well. I didn't have any issues with these. So going back and talking about performance, let me show you my last Antutu score really quick. So going into the Antutu benchmark, and as you can see, I've got a score of 1,39,612. That's a pretty nice score in my opinion. Talking about general usage, it works absolutely well. App opening times are also fast enough, as you can see. No issues with that. Battery smooth performance, no any lags whatsoever in the system. But when I compare the performance of this room and the Havoc OS, gameplay, as Havoc you can see from the screen, it was light edge over well performance. Any issues that's with for sure. Because HD option and high frame rate uh, option light is present lag and it's working in the system well. When I didn't have any lags whatsoever, but not in the Havoc OS too. But comparing to Havoc OS, Havoc OS has light edge over PUBG performance because it was giving a little bit better frame rate on PUBG, little bit better but it will not be noticeable mostly when you play PUBG. In a nutshell, the gameplay was really good. So talking about other things like the battery life, let me show you my battery states really quick. So going into the battery and the battery usage, as you can see here, all the mixed users over here, I use PUBG, YouTube, anti 2 camera and music player, other applications which aren't appearing over here. The battery was around 98% when I booted the ROM and now it's on 74% and in a nutshell, the battery life is really good. Again, comparing it with the Havoc OS, I think so the battery life is pretty neck to neck with Havoc OS, I can say. I didn't see any major difference. Still, I have to use this ROM for at least 
14 hours it says at least have used it for 24 hours more in order to comment more about the battery life if anybody needs more information you can dm me on instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere over here till now the battery life is pretty impressive and it's working absolutely well no any issues with the battery life in this room here are a couple of applications except youtube pubg and antutu yes and to do all other apps can be installed with this rom retro music player is there and the sound output is pretty good in this rom talking about the camera application here is the mi camera photo video etc works well but not the portrait mode portrait mode has issues portrait mode was giving false closures like it gave false closures for two or three times but still all the other stuff is working like normal photography and normal video let us see what are the resolutions and video quality let us try 4k really quick it should work by the way here it is that's because of the lighting guys it's not the camera issue that's because of the lighting purely because of the lighting working fine i should say the 4k video recording there are no any false closures with the 4k video recording here it takes a while to render the video but still it works well So this was a quick little review of the Revengers official running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. This is all about technology 2027. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.